Welcome. My name is Carrie Balk and I'm the principal at Three Rivers High School. I've been asked to share with you some insight that will help you be successful in high school. As most of you know, ninth grade is absolutely critical to your success in high school. Ninth grade can be tough for a lot of reasons. For many of you, you'll be in a new building. There'll be new teachers, new principal, new assistant principal, but some things will stay the same. The classmates you've been with since kindergarten, they will still be there. So again, ninth grade is a really important year. It's a year of transition, and it's also a year that really sets the stage for how the rest of high school is going to go. I have a couple of suggestions that I think will help you transition into high school and transition into high school well. One of my most important suggestions is that you be as organized as you can. Most students struggle with organization, especially those that are younger and newer to the high school scene. What I tell my students at Three Rivers High School is we have six classes per day. I would recommend that you have a notebook and a folder for each of those classes. Start out the year as organized as you can, and then at the each end of each marking period, revisit your organization, clean those folders out, buy new ones so that you can start fresh at the start of each quarter. In high school, your credits are really important. After you take a class and you successfully complete it and get a passing grade, your school will issue you a credit. Your high school diploma is based on the number of credits that you get. That's our bell. Uh, so the number of credits you get is what essentially leads to your diploma. At the end of your high school career, you should have 18 credits or whatever is required by your uh, particular school. At Three Rivers High School, you need six credits to complete your ninth grade year. If you don't have six credits, you don't go on to 10th grade. So if your experiences as you went through uh, elementary or middle schools, maybe you didn't do so well academically, yet you still went to the next grade level, that may change in high school because you need to have those credits to move from ninth grade to 10th grade, 10th grade to 11th grade, 11th grade to a diploma and graduating from your respective schools. The last thing uh, that I will leave you with is that your attendance is one of the things that will really make or break your success in high school. If you come to school every day, you are more likely to be successful than if you are frequently absent. Some of the classes that you will take in high school, they're difficult. Some of them are not terribly difficult, but some of them are. Some of them, algebra, geometry, world history, economics, they're classes that if you're absent, you uh, miss the teacher teaching you about those things and you still have the opportunity to make up the work, but you may have to spend some time also learning that content that you missed on the day you were absent at home. And that can be really challenging. Once I see students starting to get into a pattern of absences, uh, typically you see their grades begin to go down. I always tell students strive for five, five or fewer absences throughout the school year. If you do that, you are likely to be successful. And finally, I'll, I'll leave you with this, advocate for yourself. Each of you will have a case manager assigned to you and that case manager's job is to help you and to help you be successful, but they need to know what's going on. So if you have struggles in some of your classes, or maybe you have a situation at home that's yielding you not having great attendance, uh, talk to your case manager, talk to your teacher, talk to your principal, let them know what's going on and allow them the opportunity to help you. High school is a great time, all kinds of fun stuff to do. You've got athletics, you've got homecoming, you've got homecoming parade, you have prom, uh, lots of great events that you will be able to participate in, but you wanna make sure that in the end, you have a diploma. Good luck to you next year. Good luck to you in high school and uh, hope you guys find all of the success you're looking for. Have a great day.